Hello, I'm Corporal Hadwin and welcome to another online field craft lesson. Today I'll be showing you how to cook in the field. When you're out in the field, you'll be supplied with a 24 hour ration pack. This is standard issue for the British Armed Forces. It comes with a variety of meals and a variety of different menus. Cooking in the field is a vital skill that you have to learn because you're not always going to have the opportunity to go back to barracks to have a meal and you need to have a high calorie diet to perform well when you're out in the field. You're going to need two mess tins, one big and one small, a BCB cooker and the fuel, a lighter or some waterproof matches and the meal you're going to cook. I've got spicy vegetable pasta, not the best but it's high in calories and there's not much else you can have in the field. Beggars can't be choosers. For the cooker, make sure it's in a safe, flat area. Keep any flammable things away from the cooker at all times. Don't cook underneath a tent or inside a basher because that's obviously a fire hazard. So you just wanna get your stove set up correctly. Get the fuel and put the fuel in. Now I've got the fuel inside the cooker, I'm going to get the small mess tin and place it on. Make sure it's placed so it's not going to fall off, because obviously if it's there it's going to fall. Now I've got my fuel in, you want to get your small mess tin, fill it around halfway with water and put your mess tin on top of the cooker. You just want to get your lighter and set it alight. Then you want to get your meal, make sure all the food is at the bottom and fold it over. Place it food down so the top, the top flaps are here and all the food is right at the bottom. Then get your large mess tin, this is optional but it'll make it easier and it'll make it warm up faster. Get your large mess tin and put it over the top. This will stop the heat escaping and make sure it cooks a lot faster. Now you just want to wait for it to boil and when it starts boiling leave it in there for about a minute or two depending on how hot you really want it because these meals can be cooked hot or cold so it just really depends on what you're feeling like and how much time you actually have. When you remove your mess tins make sure you use a towel preferably wet because these handles can get quite hot, so make sure you don't burn your hands. I've done it a few times and I've dropped my food on the floor, so it's not great. Then once you've cooked everything, make sure you leave it out to cool for a bit because you don't want to put cotton your hands on it because it'll be very hot for now. So wait, it, wait for it to cool a bit and leave your mess tins out in the wind. That should cool it off quite quick. Same with your cooker, don't touch your cooker yet because again it's going to be really really hot, just leave it for a bit. Once the water's cooled down a bit just double check with your finger, just a light touch and if it's cold enough to pick up then it should be fine. Your ration should be fairly warm now and it'll be a nice enjoyable meal to eat. Look at that, lovely jubbly. Whatever you do, try not to put your food in the mess tin because I've seen people do this and it's just a pain to clean. So eat it out the bag ideally and with the water you have left, save it, use it for something else. You could boil it up again and maybe make a tea or a coffee with it because out in the field you probably have a limited supply of water and you don't want to waste it. Once everything's cool you need to make sure you clean all your mess tins because you don't want fungus and bacteria and stuff all over your mess tins next time you cook because then you'll get ill and it won't be pleasant. So make sure you use a wet cloth or some wipes, whatever you have at hand and clean all the inside of your mess tins, a bit on the outside and you'll notice that on the bottom of your mess tins, the one that was cooking, you'll have all this browny black top, like whatever it is on the bottom. And to get rid of this you just find some wet grass and rub it hard as you can. Like I said, you may get some long grass that's a bit wet. 
you just want to rub it really hard. As you can see, it's starting to wipe off already. Now, it doesn't need to be completely gone because it's silver and it's not great camouflage. But if you want to keep your mess tins well maintained, make sure you get rid of all this black stuff on the bottom. Here you go. That should be fine enough. Thank you for watching. I'm Corporal Haddon from 2348 McGull Squadron. I hope you've learned something today and take this lesson next time you're out in the field and remember what I taught you.